trending since it was announced that Hulu um, and you have worked are working on a documentary about Freaknik. So for people who don't know, for um, since 1983, it started as a small gathering at HBCU picnic, and then it turned into a phenomenon. Now the documentary is coming out, and there are people who are now successful lawyers and doctors and parents, and they are worried that their Freaknik story will be revealed. <laughs> Um, wh what is the documentary? Is it going to reveal the essence of this party, the culture? What is the story here? Well, I want, I, I, I've been waiting for this question, so, um, Oh, let me tell you, I never went. Okay. Because uh, I just knew one day somebody was going to do a documentary. documentary. <laughs> I knew, uh, I, I knew. I, I, I want to say this to all of those people out there, that um, my vision of Freak Nick um, it's really a story about the South and Atlanta. It's not really a story about what everybody keeps talking about. And I think I, 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 I don't like that part because I feel like um, it's a little disrespectful because I'm just telling a story. I'm telling the story of Atlanta, yeah. right? And how Atlanta was built into the place that it is today. People came to Atlanta from Freak, through Freak Nick and they stayed, right? People would move, like I say that in Welcome to Atlanta. Um, you know, people came to Atlanta for Freaknik and they stayed. And that's how Atlanta has become this multicultural, multi-city place. Yeah.